said hallelujah amen do you still have some space in there you still got some space in there i want to congratulate pastor isaac for this highly disciplined church highly disciplined i drop my heart and salute your grace highly disciplined people Many of us have been here since 5 p.m. And you are still hanging here. You are blessed above all people. Something is building momentum in this arena. Shortly before you know it, the whole world will hear your name. The whole world will sing your song. They will salute the grace of God at work in your life. If you believe it, let your amen show it loudly. Now, the Holy Spirit has his, please take your seat. Has his um, powerful way of doing his own thing. While the Lord was dealing with me on the subject of the Holy Spirit, as the agency and the force from heaven that makes things work on the earth, He's also speaking to Pastor Bill from a different angle. When he came to see that, I said, you preached my message. <laughs> you took every word from my mouth. All the scriptures you quoted, I have here. So there's no point in repeating what God has done already. The platform is set for a miracle. And all I'll do is to set you on fire. And release you to obtain that which belongs to you by right. Amen. You have a legal right to be healthy. Amen. You have a legal right to be free from afflictions. Amen. You have a legal right to live your life in health and vitality. Amen. You have a legal right to succeed in all sectors of your life. Amen. Jesus' death and resurrection ensured the legality. Of your freedom from all afflictions. Look at this in Deuteronomy 7. Verse 14 to 15. He said, Thou shalt be blessed above all people. If that word is for you, say amen to it. Amen. There shall not be male or female barren among you. Amen. Or among your cattle. Amen. Now cattle in scriptures can be interpreted to mean your business. How will this happen? Verse 15. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness. Amen. If you must be an evidence of a blessed man, you can also be an evidence of an afflicted man. So for me to prove to you that I meant what I declared, I will make sure you, I take away all sickness from you. And I will not put on you or allow to come upon you the evil diseases of Egypt, which you know, but rather I put them on your enemies. And then the New Testament, third John verse 1, chapter 1, verse 2, corroborated that statement by saying, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. Even as your soul prospered, and that has been duly handled in the morning session, the soul is realm, the realm of your expectation. So if you will prosper in your expectation, you cannot be a failure in your health. If your imagination is correctly aligned with the source of your creation, no disease can settle on you. I'm blessed of the Lord to have partaken of that which I'm sharing tonight. I told you earlier on this yesterday or the day before that I used to be a sickler. But I think sickness is part of life until divine intervention came and sorted me out. Close to 30 years now, I don't know how to fall sick. 
yet I walk like a jerky. Hallelujah. Are people not falling sick around me? Yeah. I still not coming inside me because I found something I'm going to share with you today which has already been shared. I just corroborate it in line with the area of your vitality and health. We must not acclimatize ourselves with the rudiments and elemental forces of afflictions. Redemption ensured that we must never allow it to settle on us. Hallelujah. How do you think God wants to attain what he has promised for you to be blessed above all people? It must first show in your healthy living. It's a healthy body that can have a sound mind. It's a sound mind that can be highly productive, creative, and prosperous. So when, no matter how much money you have, if your body is afflicted, you are one of the poorest men in town. So health is vital. And no wonder one of the principal assignments Jesus came to accomplish is he went about doing good, healing all. Healing all that were afflicted. Healing all how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good, healing all. All, not some, all. If all, then your all, your own is inclusive in the all. Amen. I say yours is inclusive in the all. Amen. And I can make bold to say we need more revelation than more medication. We need more revelation. The chemists and the pharmacists are producing more dangerous drugs that keeps you addicted to a particular style of life that has no assurance of your healthy living. But what Jesus did once and for all is eternal. If you swallow Jesus' queen, you won't need no more tablets to keep you healthy in life. The Holy Ghost queen is all you need to maintain stability and vitality. And that force of the Holy Ghost is evergreen. Does not need a re-prescription. It's applicable in all realms of life, in any nation, among all people, in all weather. I'm, am I communicating with you? We are going to deal a deadly blow to any kind of affliction ravaging your system tonight. You, in your lifetime, will never stand online for anyone to pray for you anymore. But rather, you will become the solution that others will require. Your amen should show you are interested here. How did God, how will God attain to make us blessed? How is he taking the sickness away from us? The Holy Spirit. Please pick up the CD of the morning session, Pastor Bill. I ordered for that CD. I already ordered for it. You remember? Uh, or else you won't sleep tonight. Praise God. <laughs> I ordered for that CD. I didn't. I wasn't here at the beginning. Just a few minutes before it closed, what entered my system is worth hearing again. And the one he released tonight is another powerful dosage. Uh, please, every time you, a word of God touches your heart, seek to hear it again. Because it's only one statement that hits your heart. You didn't, I mean, many other things he said you didn't hear. In the process of meditating on what you had, you missed some other things that flew on. And that will give you the completeness of that uh, encounter. Praise God. Amen. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7 said, The Lord is that spirit. And wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Liberty. Liberty means freedom at its best. Liberty is freedom at its best. It is emancipation. And that is where the spirit of the Lord is. Now, I can't be a carrier of the spirit of the Lord and still be in bondage. We need more revelation, not more medication.
God needed to release the force of the Holy Ghost on Jesus to make him functional in his assignment to deliver the world from the courts of hell. And Jesus engaged the power of the Holy Ghost and fulfilled life and ministry. And as my Father has sent me, so have I sent you. We can't be the light of the world and suffer with the world. The world needs us, sir. There is no governmental policy that can eradicate infirmity. It's a spirit. You can't fight spirits with physical diagnosis. No. You have a battle with the forces of evil. You want to conquer it with tablets, syrups. You're playing games. Don't I have respect for medical science? Absolutely. For a category of people, they are very important. And we need them to function so they can be alive for us to reach them. We need the doctors to function for unbelievers to remain alive so we can reach them and be snatching them away and Take them, snatch them away from, 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 from sickness, snatch them away from doctors. Because we have a great physician who never goes on holiday on duty 24-7. Jesus needed the Holy Ghost to do good works. He went about Matthew 4, 23. After teaching in the synagogue, preaching the gospel, he healed all manner. Of sickness. So we need an updated encounter with the Holy Spirit. That's why I'm soliciting for you to pick up that CD again and listen. An updated encounter with the Holy Spirit to be able to free ourselves and then be ready to free others. And there are too many people that need to be free. When that sister was giving the account of suicides per day, I said, oh God, have mercy. Where are we? What are we doing? What's the church doing? People are dying. And we are watching them. And come to church and lift our hand and enjoy God. That's not why we are here only. The world is waiting for us. That's why after Jesus showed them what to do, he began to empower them. Tonight, the anointing of tonight is not just for you. Is to power you up to become the answer to all the problems hanging around your, your neighborhood, your place of work, your friends, your family members. They need to have you there. They need to experience the God you are experiencing. And the cheapest way to, to preach the gospel is to solve problems. The cheapest way to preach the gospel is to put a smile on somebody's face. You don't have to invite him two times. I can give you evidence and proofs in many areas of my life. Praise God. So the end time church is a Holy Ghost church. We must engage the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring liberty and deliverance to all. Hallelujah. Now tonight, people of God, we are the pool of Bethesda. I said we are the pool of Bethesda. The waters are going to be troubled in a few moments. And anyone who needs healing can die by faith. Connect to your miracle. What happened at the pool of Bethesda? John chapter 5, verse 2 to 4. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five pouches. In this lay a great multitude of impotent foe, of blind, the hard, the widowed, waiting for the moving of the water. Mark that word. Waiting for what? The moving of the water. Verse 4. For an angel went down at a certain season, and this is that season, into the pool and troubled the water. 
whosoever when whosoever then first after the troubling of the water step in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had the troubling of the water the troubling of the water the pool the earth was without form darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of the lord the face of the deep talks about waters and the spirit of the lord moved upon this face of the deep. So, the troubling of the water is the movement of the Holy Spirit. Creating an atmosphere for the Holy Ghost to move. When the Spirit moves, some things happen. Now, join that to John chapter 7 that you read. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Now, if we understand the mystery behind hydroelectricity, we'll understand the magnetic move of the Holy Ghost in turning out fiery dosages of power that either destroys or lightens. When the turbine of the water is troubled, wham, 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 quantums of electric shocks. The revelation God gave him is that those forces that flows out of the Holy Ghost helps you to impact whatever it incidents upon and turns it for good because it is from the Spirit of God. Okay? But that quantum of fire does two works. Fire destroys fire refines as carriers of the fire anything that wants to destroy your system it destroys it it turns it to ashes because you have released the move of the spirit that's why he gave you the Holy Ghost so the speaking in tongues is not just to give you a language to rejoice over it is to help you keep turning the turbine. You are an electric domain. You are a fire producer. Anything of the devil will be turned to ashes. Anything of God will be refined. So out of your belly, you can reenact and reproduce the force of the Holy Ghost to release illumination, enlightenment, or destroy anything in its track. That's why your body cannot be a habitation to infirmity. You can't carry the Holy Ghost and still have the evil ghost dwelling with it. Hello. Every disease, according to Scripture, has its root in sin. Isn't it? If he can forgive your sin, he must liberate you from the affliction. But God is saying, you will be blessed above all people. I'll take sickness away from you. You know how I will do it? I'll give you the Holy Ghost. I'll give you the Holy Ghost. And when you have, you can't be a container of fire and any rubbish will hang around there. You are a fire container. So every time you speak in tongues, whether loudly or quietly, you are turning the turbine. You are moving the spirit. You are engaging the forces that will eradicate affliction. Am I communicating with you? Some years back, 2013, I had what they call hemorrhoid. It was painful, terribly painful. 
So I called one of my sons who is a practicing medical doctor in Michigan. Hello, what do you think of this? He said, ah, daddy. When did this stop? I told him. He said, it's very bad. I said, that's not what I'm asking you. He said, I have to tell you the truth. I've been suffering from this in the last six years. I said, is that so? He said, yes, sir. He said, I'm afraid to go for surgery. Why? Because where it is, after surgery, you are out of circulation for about three, minimum three months because it does not heal fast. And there's no guarantee that it won't grow back. He says, so sometimes I wear pampas, medical doctor, adult wearing pampas. <laughs> he, has three, he has three, two kids at home. So you wear pampas for his kids, wear one for himself. <laughs> Affliction. After I dropped the phone, I said, you know why God allowed me to call him? To know that my healing is not true. The physician that should prescribe me is wearing pampas <laughs> over his head. <laughs> he sent me a long paper, told me what to do by um, hot bath in the shape of toilet cover and put hot water and sit on it. My wife read the mail, went to the market and bought it. First time I sat on it, it almost cooked. <laughs> I almost cook my bum bum, man. Eh? <laughs> I said, how can I be trying to solve a problem and create another problem? <laughs> One night, this pain won't allow me to sleep. I got up and I got angry from my spirit man. I went to the hall and began to open the turbine. The kunato jagaga picas intro zike prahus kelam brothers imoluka to jeke kikapa misu kriasko metu kapute krianta laboria. And I picked the bottle of oil and I said, Holy Ghost, release the force of your fire and dry it up now. Poured some in my hand and then. Fwa! I held it on there. Misa kakaha. E pradu yaba. Me ruge bagara. Me suriandos. Me susakaparatia. God is not a man that he should lie. There is power in the force of the Holy Ghost. I mean, tangible, feelable, touchable, experienceable power. You need more revelation than medication. If we are going to turn others into Christ, we can't afford to carry crisis under our bosom. We can't afford to. God is not coming down anymore. Jesus is coming down again for a glorious church. A church without spot or wrinkle. Spot talks about sin. Wrinkle talks about Inabilities, cowardice, those are wrinkles, negligences, the things that are already done that we are now doing as if it's not done. Brothers and sisters, that was the end of hemorrhoid. Amen. I went to bed. Following morning, I woke up, no discomfort. 
before, when I feel pressed, I get scared to go to the toilet because I know what will happen. And I'm a pastor. <laughs> For the first time in about six months, I went to the toilet and defecated as if I was still sleeping. I told my wife, ah, life in Christ is better. I have not had another attack. So I called my doctor's son and told him, now I'm your doctor. This is my pr the prescription you gave me wants to cook my bum bum. <laughs> but this one will set you at liberty. And gave him what to do. And three days later, he told me, I wish I knew this before. I'm talking of doctor in Michigan, not, not Nigeria. There's a river of living water. You can't, leave, you can't drink the water that gives life and die. It's inside there. You are a believer. This sign shall follow them that believe. The first sign is that in my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Tongues of fire. To devour chaff. And release them into dignity. This is time for people to honor you, to respect you, for being an agent of the kingdom of God. You can't be a solution to others if you are still in problems. You will never feel like communicating to others what can bring them freedom until you have enjoyed it yourself. So let's engage the Holy Ghost. That's the greatest benefit of being a child of God on planet Earth. The Holy Spirit is the governor of the universe. With him in you, no affliction should keep you on the floor. The pool of the rivers of living water is being stirred. Somebody must jump inside it right now. You have the power and the legal right to cast out demons, to restore healthy environment to your life. My wife used to be asthmatic. She carries two inhalers in her bag anywhere she goes. She's been asthmatic since she was six. I met her at age 22. And for years, we were managing it. Until the day I got angry. There's a need for you to be, to be violent against what is not right. You have to have this spiritual violence. Don't condone what will condemn you. Don't condone what it stop nursing the devil. Cast it out. You can't cast out what you like. You can't cast out what you nurse. You can only cast out what you hate. Develop a holy anger. When you feel headache, it's not because you work too hard. It's an affliction. Get out! He will hear your voice and it will fade away. Or say, oh, it's because it's too sunny today. And you know, I've worked so hard. And you know, okay, I just take um, uh, Panadol or what? <laughs> Tylenol. <laughs> just take a little Tylenol. I'll be okay. A, a little Tylenol today, Tylenol tomorrow, Tylenol. And then before you know it, your surname is Tanalor. <laughs> he killed absolutely any little faith that is in your inside because your confidence is in Tanalor. Your confident expectation is that Tanalor is the answer. Whereas the answer is not in no Tanalor, the answer is in Jesus yeah. by the Holy Ghost. He baptized them with the, the, Jesus Christ, the baptizer of the Holy Spirit. For what reason? Because he has it and he can do, he's the only one who can give what he has. He breathed upon them and the Holy Ghost came upon them. 
When the Holy Ghost came upon them, they became a fiery agent of God's kingdom, distributing health anywhere they go. After tonight, anyone who meets you will meet health. Your handshake will communicate life into people. Your smile will communicate healing into somebody's body. God will not only heal you, it will make you an agent of healing to all the people you know. Never be afraid to pray for someone. Are you hearing me? Don't be scared. Like I used to tell people, they are not born again, they are Muslim, whatever. As soon as you complain of disease to me, I say, do you mind if I pray for you? I say, who hates prayer? I'm not telling about who. You. Want me to pray with you? He said, oh, no problem. I said, good. Don't close your eyes. Else you think I'm doing some incantation of magic. Don't close your eyes. Just, just do as if we are conversing. I say, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you can hear me. That affliction has no right to be where I am. Now, this person is my vicinity. It's in my coverage area. In this coverage area, you are not permitted to so get out now. Whatever name they call you, get out now. Then he goes, comes back. Sometimes he says, Sir, what did you do to me? Is, that, is it that easy? You just say something. What did you put in your mouth? <laughs> I say, it's not what I put in my mouth. It's what is flowing from my belly. It's what is flowing from my belly. And it is what I have that can flow out. Do you get what I'm talking about? I agree with my wife. I didn't marry asthma. And whatsoever God has joined together, let no asthma put us under. So somebody has to go. And the only person permitted to go is asthma. Because when I say I do, I wasn't talking to asthma. <laughs> I'm not doing with asthma. Asthma is not allowing me to enjoy you. So it has to go. My wife said, but I was born with it. No. You are not born with it. You got caught up in it. And we can cut it out. Brothers and sisters, asthma died. Asthma didn't only die. None of our children had any trace. That's to tell you that whatsoever the Lord doeth. Now, last Sunday in, in, in Maryland, we, we did a mantle service. Sunday morning. And then a couple, the pastor and his wife, came from Canada to be a part of that program. And then they left. We got the testimony. I got the testimony just yesterday. They left and then they called us back later to tell us an incident happened in the plane. The wife of this pastor gasped out. She collapsed. And then pandemonium. All the medical personnel in the plate <clears throat> trying to resuscitate her. <clears throat> They were rushing everywhere, and, and, and in the, the little breath, and as she said, I want to give me a was the husband who could interpret. The nurses who had said, what is she talking about? <laughs> said, give me a The husband said, I, I, I understand. Went to look for his hand luggage, brought out the mantle, put it on her forehead. Less than one minute, she sat up. Wow. When we were praying over the handkerchief, I said, Holy Spirit, if you did it through Paul, you are the one here now. And handkerchiefs and aprons came out of Paul. And they took it to everywhere and extraordinary miracles happened. This happened in the plane. 40 feet above sea level. God is everywhere. So I told the pastor, so what did you do when they were asking you questions? I said, you should have turned it to a crusade. That time, nobody has the right to go out. There's no way to go out inside the plane. <laughs> And everybody who saw your wife collapse should be those people who partake on his resurrection. I say, you didn't know how to cash in in moments like that. You turn into a crusade. That you know how what rose my wife from the dead? It's the power of God here. 
Any one of you who need that kind, come and touch this. And by the time you land, you carry all of them to church. <laughs> Praise God. We are solution to our world. Can you remember that? Can you put that in your heart? I'm a solution to my world. Because God made me a solution, I cannot be part of the problems. So tonight, I disengage any problem, affliction from the enemy. Me and the enemy are not mates. Get out of my system. Will you rise up on your feet? Whatever they call the name of that affliction, begin to lift up your voice now and say, Father, I thank you for my deliverance. I thank you for my solution. Holy Spirit of God, I believe in your ministry. I believe in your ministry. Holy Spirit, I believe in your ministry. Tonight, perfect your work in my life. Release me from the bondage of hell. Release me from the attack of sickness and oppression. Every bodily affliction. Every mental affliction. Every soulish affliction. Every attack on my finances. Attack on my career. Attack on my job. Attack on my business. Tonight. Out with you. Out with you. In the name of Jesus. Can you close your eyes, lift up your hand, and begin to focus on that area that you need your deliverance. And pray in the spirit. Just follow the example that Pastor Bill gave us. Focus on that. And then release the forces of the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Pray fervently from your heart. Pray as if you are tired of that attack. Pray as if you want to dissociate with that attack. This is your night. Mikuma to shaklehus kalabaria. Amba manose klekure kampa parute kladosia. Trouble the turbine. Begin to wind the turbine. Release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Nekobalu seklehisa. Ankara pra 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 toshia. Embilikupe katakune gedeketa. Esigalak para pumpe gelaboria. Enini manlando. Jekle kus gelaboria. Aporo bobo sopoto. Osigeda papredo. Imblegi zeglaha. Kakilato jablaga. Eblegi meglebo. Obigabagati galabondia. Ankopili bretoskia. Eso se se ketikila garate. Ishikan prome kumparuyanta. Kamunde pekedado. Oblegiske ikalakata. Jabalado. Oblegiske lamondia. I see lambs disappearing. I see growth withering now. I see growth withering now. I see lump withering now. Eko bega la barash, shekle ke segla, arube galaba, mentoraburia. Tumors are withering away. Every abrado, every pain is giving way. Every dose segla kashia, regelo brikos galaburia. Rapunik le kuske le begalamanta la boria Rata toko toko dege 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 Que se susu se que empran bradia E me lumbre koshia para gasanto las E pila bora katiada Terminal diseases are giving way All kind problems are disappearing now All problems are giving way E kopa kutesha Seminda la kundia En toto kolobi li geba Misuku milika brato shia Emilumbe nukoske laboria Rake keke po bigega bakate Shekila broske labos Thank you precious father In the mighty name of Jesus we are prayed In Jesus mighty name we are prayed Now please close your eyes I like for you to keep that on Keep it on 
I'm going to make it some prophetic proclamation. And as I begin to declare, begin to receive your healing and receive your deliverance. And we are going to seal it up with the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon your life. God gave me certain indications here. I wrote them down. And I'm going to mention in their names. And I will see the end of such calamities in your own life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, tonight, we decree an end to all terminal diseases. For anybody here, or anyone connected to anybody here, any member of your family, your friends or relatives, that are under any kind of this named affliction, we decree their liberty now in the name of Jesus. We put an end to blood diseases. Leukemia, die. Cancer, die. Arthritis, die. Pains, die. Menstrual situations, die. In the name of Jesus. Kidney problems, give way. Liver problems, give way. Now problem give way. Arthritis of the hand, arthritis of the knee, arthritis of the limbs. We command your hold to be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Everyone struggling with depression. I command that demonic force to lose grip upon your mind. Everyone struggling with any kind of perversion. I decree by the Holy Ghost your liberty now. Anyone under the power of loneliness or self-condemnation, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the power of mood swings. Happy today, sad tomorrow. Up today, down tomorrow. Now receive the fire of the Holy Ghost for your liberty. In the name of Jesus. Anyone going through suicidal thoughts. I decree your freedom now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any kind of challenge you have. That won't allow you to enjoy the joy of the Holy Ghost. That problem ceases to exist in your life. Any challenge over your family members, over your children, over your finances, over your career, over your businesses. I command liberation now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Whatever our mind could not capture, for it's represented here as an infirmity. Now, Holy Ghost of God, the one that searches all things, and nothing can be debarred from him, we release you to perfect your works now. As your people are anointed. He said, there is one coming after me whose lace of the shoe I cannot, I'm not fit to undo. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Fire is going to be oozing out of this oil. It will do two jobs in your life. Any trace of infirmity will be burnt to ashes. It is your confident expectation that establishes your liberty. What are you expecting? The oil is passing on. The Holy Ghost is moving in the camp. Your expectation must be at its highest level. Your expectation must be at its highest If nothing is wrong with you, standing for someone here, there's no barrier to the move of the Holy Spirit. No barrier. 
as soon as this oil touches you it begins to burn to ashes anything that is not of god in your system somebody had issue with impotency you are not performing right with your spouse as this oil touches you your manhood receives divine energy there's restoration of perfection in your system the next thing the anointing oil will do in your life is to strengthen you to turn your weaknesses to strength and release you as an agent of healing may I tell you this the power of God is not limited to personalities this sign shall follow them that believe they will lay hands on the sick stop looking for a bishop stop waiting for Benny Hinn. you are a believer this sign shall follow them that believe after God free you tonight begin to look for who to pray for when you are part of the solution you can never have a reoccurrence of the problem am I communicating with you this anointing is singling you out as one of the solutions to people's health not only in this city but in this state you are divinely connected to your portion the name of jesus christ can we have somebody else to pray? pastor b stand there wait heavenly father in the name of jesus christ we release the forces of your holy ghost when david was anointed with oil in the midst of his brethren it is the spirit of the lord that came upon him now as your people are anointed let the spirit of the lord come upon them now that the water has been troubled it is time for the flow of the fire let the fire flow let deliverance happen instant miracles instant solution instant turn around instant turn around instant turn around whatever god can do is what the holy ghost can do whatever god did not put there he said he will take it away now by the anointing let it be taken away let the yoke be broken let the body be lifted let the barrier be destroyed let your people be released into fullness of life in the name of jesus someone here has some issues with ability to remember things afflicted with forgetfulness you read you can't remember you read you can't remember that incident is coming to an end tonight as soon as you are anointed the holy spirit will ventilate your mind and give you the facility required to operate in supernatural intelligence receive it in the name of jesus father honor your word bless this oil sanctify holy ghost perfect your counsel stay here. so if you are coming from there just dip your hand anoint your head dip your hand and begin to pray in the spirit begin to pray in the spirit let your confident expectation follow the step you are taking let your confident expectation focus on what you want to happen now what do you want to happen now what do you desire to happen now? 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 What do you desire to happen now?
shout hallelujah in the precious name of Jesus I announce your liberty tonight in the precious name of Jesus I announce your deliverance tonight in the precious name of Jesus the Bible says whatever the Lord does shall be forever the mountains that have been removed tonight remain moved forever the mountain that has been leveled tonight remains a plain forever in the precious name of Jesus I announce that a new you has emerged I announce that a new you has begun it's a new beginning in the name of Jesus from tonight you will exercise practical dominion from tonight you will live in unquestionable dominion dominion over sickness dominion ever over every activity of darkness dominion over every force of hell dominion in your businesses dominion in your finances in the name of jesus dominion over sin in the name of jesus live in unquestionable dominion live in unquestionable dominion everyone on the side of my voice tonight you are ordained commission a terror to the kingdom of darkness there is no force in hell that will scare you anymore when they see you they will bow when they see you they will you will move they will move in the name of jesus dominion life will find full expression in your life dominion life will find full meaning in your life so shall it be you are coming in the morning with a testimony you are coming in the morning with a testimony you are coming in the morning with a testimony you are coming in the morning with a testimony nothing will remain the same again what doctors have said could not be done every testimonies every miracles we've experienced here i decree a replication in your life in the name of jesus the womb that the second half a baby again carry the baby the medical situation that said that is the way it has to be i declare it reverse forever fresh oil in the name of jesus so shall it be god of Bethel has visited you god of Bethel has done you well in the name of jesus so shall it be let's lift those hands and give god all the glory lift those hands and give god all the glory lift those hands up and give god all the glory come on lift up your hands and give god all the glory lift up those hands and give up all the glory please when you leave tonight exercise your dominion leave here tonight with an attitude in the physical that has a meaning in the realms of the spirit if you have had challenges sleeping before tonight know you are going to sleep like a baby in the precious name of jesus and all those evil visitors at night in the name of jesus tonight they are out of circulation so shall it be let me make a couple of announcements we are going to be back in the morning in the precious name of jesus god's servant is going to be ministering we will also be ministering 
double dose. And Pastor Bill will be ministering alongside with me on other officiating. Hallelujah. Also, if you are, what are the other announcements? We have all these messages in combos. It will never make sense for you to go and don't take them home. When we nearly give our life to Christ, it's a custom, it's a practice, it must be done. No matter how many times we are in that service, we must take those messages home. And we play and play and play and play. Some of you have said, oh, Pastor, uh, ask faith. Maybe that's the root. That's how it started. I said, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. Messages in CDs and MP3s are not only for those who are not in attendance. It is to continue to build you, to continue to grow your life until your life becomes a life of exploit. So we have it out there. It's going to be all there tomorrow. We have some tonight. All these things have come together in a combo. Please, we need you to get all of them. And also, what do you have? Oh, okay. Some of you that got the books, escaping your fear, those copies are not free. So you say them after the service and give it to them. You know, by God's grace, I can afford to give it to you. But they are in free tonight. Hallelujah. So see them after. Nobody's going to chase anybody. But see them after the book and pay up. After the service and pay up. Is God go tonight? Is God go tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Service begins tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Service begins tomorrow at 10 o'clock. How many of us have been blessed by the ministry of God's servant? Come on, let's put our hands together for the Lord. Now, I just want you to help me because that's how I feel. I want you to help me and say, Sir, I appreciate you. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. I send you forth tonight in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please say surely to somebody before you go. The Lord bless you tonight.